Indian Point Digital Corporation. For this video, I will show you how to update the firmware in Selectric mode. After connecting the scanner to a computer, you must check if PLS appears on the device manager before we proceed with the firmware update. This is because we first have to check if the scanner is well connected to a computer. And this is how you do it. Right click on this PC, click manage, then click device manager. Here, you'll be able to see PLS. And if it does appear, now you're ready to do a firmware update. To do a firmware update, please follow the following steps. First, open a notepad. Second, save it as factory underscore mode in the contradent folder, which you can find from the drive or C drive. Please note that the folder, the file that you just saved. Factory of just one mode text file has to be in the same folder as this red icon right here, Delta Series System Data. Now run the Delta Series System Data as administrator. Then you'll be able to see a screen like this. Click Connect. If the scanner's information, such as serial number, the current firmware version, the current model, show up on the screen like this, it means that the scanner is connected. The version of each part will be automatically selected. Different version of the scanner will fill Please click update. It will take less than a minute to do uh, to be updated. When USB disconnect message finally appears on the screen, it means that the scanner and the firmware of the scanner has successfully successfully been updated. Now, make sure to reboot the scanner in order to load the new data. That's it for today. Hope you found this helpful and I hope to see you in our next video.